You guys are gonna have to bear with me. My hair's a little bit wet this morning because I just got back from the gym and I, uh, I need a shower because I was completely unfit for video this morning. I've got a voice for radio and a face to go with it, but you guys read the title, you know exactly what's going on. This is a Form 4 as it comes directly from the ATF. So if you've never seen one of these things, then you either live in an unfree locale that doesn't allow you to do uh, federal transfers for suppressors, or you have not participated in the process that's going to eventually get these deregulated by making them ubiquitous. So do your part, get on it. Now that said, I specifically did this Form 1, or Form 4, excuse me, as an individual. Even though I'm an SOT, and I am the SOT on this form, I did this as an individual because I wanted to see what would happen if you made particular errors. For science! And I made a video about this literally over a year ago, according to this form. And the errors that I made were specifically, I left out the caliber and gauge, because I've heard that that can trip you up before. I just simply left it blank. On top of that, the big one that I wanted to address was the whole, hey, if you'd call it a suppressor on your form, then you won't get approved. And I've heard people say that, I've said that before, and I wanted to see what would happen. So I literally put the term suppressor where you're supposed to put the term silencer to see what would happen. Now, as a quick add to this, I mentioned that I am the SOT on this transfer as well as the uh, transferee. <laughs> Because I wanted to make this as realistic as possible, I left the Swarm 22 from Elevated Silence that I used for this particular transfer in the safe the whole time. Have not shot it. The only reason I took it out of the packaging was to read the serial number off of it. Because I wanted to be in the same boat as you guys. Remember that you uh, always read the metal when you're doing paperwork, not the paperwork. Now, coincidentally... I don't have the swarm in my hand right now to show you. I'll have nice pretty B-roll to roll over this. And I'm just having kind of an old man moment and I can't actually remember the combination of my safe right now. I'll remember it, you know, in the next 20 minutes or so. But as of filming this segment, I tried to get into the thing and I literally couldn't remember the combination to get into my own suppressor safe. Now we are gonna go out and shoot the device here in just a few minutes, but before we do, we have to pay the bills. Today's video is brought to you by Zydex. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have figured this out yet or not, but I'm a nerd. And the problem with me being a nerd is I'm relatively hard on stuff, and I'm also not always good at doing all the nerd things. So I have a guy that helps me do the computer stuff. As in, like, hey bro, I need to install some new components on my PC. Can you come over and help me out? I recognize that not everybody has access to a computer guy. So if you don't have access to a computer guy on call, then you might contact Zydex. The thing about Zydex is they specialize in high-end PCs, and it doesn't matter whether you're doing video editing like I do, or if you're trying to ultra-mod your Skyrim to turn your PC into a space heater. Zydex also has a lifetime warranty on parts and labor. That means that if your GPU with a one-year manufacturer's warranty decides to take a dump at 13 months, then you're 100% covered. How do I say this without getting flagged on YouTube? Tech support can sometimes have foreign components. Zydex's tech support is based here in the United States. In addition to the support side of things, which can be fairly vexing on its face, Zydex also specializes in customization. So if you're looking to do something super innocuous or super snazzy, doesn't matter. Maybe you want some etching or some LEDs. Personally speaking, I need some lights on the machine to let me know that it's on because I'm deaf. The last thing I'll mention is, look, if you tried to shop for computer components right now, they're fairly expensive. Zydex does their best to try and shop around to find the best prices on components to pass on the savings to you. The good news is that some components have come down because, well, the Russians can't buy chips right now. Sale. So if you are looking for a new machine, whether you're trying to edit photos or if you're trying to figure out how buggy Warhammer 3 actually is, depravity reigns. You might want to check out Zydex. I have a link in the description box down below that you can use to go over to the website and it tells them that I sent you. Special thanks to them for making today's video possible. So before we go to the range end to actually shoot the thing, what happened with the paperwork, Kurt? Well, normally if you make an error that is substantial enough that it's gonna cause your form to not get approved, like you forgot to submit a supplemental form with your, with your trust documents or something like that, then they're gonna send you what's called an error letter and it's gonna literally be a one-page document that says, hey, you made this mistake, here's the copy of the form 
so that you can see where you made the mistake. Please send us this paperwork back with the requisite attachments and corrections within the next 30 days. And it's usually more like 15 days because, you know, government and stuff like that. But if you don't make a major error, usually what happens is they'll approve it and then underneath of it, they'll say where the typographical errors were made and what they should be. So if you look here and I'll have a close up for you, they said 4B silencer, which this person I think is actually hilarious. This person is so government that they literally make their ease like a uh, old MS-DOS screen. But anyway, there's neither here nor there. And they literally wrote silencer on there. So they wanted silencer in that spot, but they approved it with suppressor on it anyway, and just said it should be suppressor or should be silencer. And then 4C, they filled in the caliber of gauge as 22 for me. So they were literally like, yeah, just, just push it out, whatever. So technically, this should have been an error letter, but they were like, so whoever did this is basically like, nah, I'm not pissing with this. Just push it out. I'd rather do uh, e-form force instead of this crap. I've seen it where devices had the wrong manufacturer written on the form four and it still got approved by the ATF. So guys, look, I, I think what really matters is that the serial number and the model number are the things that really matter uh, on the form. You would think that all the information should be correct, but look, I I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to having correct data on things, but look, this is, this is your tax dollars at work. Let's go to the ranch. Don't mind my massive pile of boxes there, but got it. Whew. I tell you boys and girls, I, uh, I misjudged the weather a little bit. The The wind has started and it's gotten awful chilly and it looks to me as though we're about to get rained on, which was uh, not in the forecast for today. So we're gonna see. This magazine also to be, seems to be a little bit sluggish. So I'm not sure that this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. This is uh, Fioki 22 long rifle high velocity stuff. So I'll have a close up for that stuff. So we're gonna be using for ammunition. And for our test gun today, a Volcorsen Scorpion. I've got lots of videos out on this thing, and we're going to only be shooting it in the full length configuration today, just because. Now, all those pretty pictures that I showed you guys before, we're about to mess them up pretty bad, so here we go. Let's see if, uh, I got 50 yards between me and that plate down there, we'll see if we can hit anything. How about that? Got it. I'm not sure if the uh, microphone is picking up the wind, but I went to break a couple shots and uh, the wind blew and I could literally watch the gun drift because it's right 90 degrees to the wind. I could watch the gun drift and the round send and then I went to squeeze the next one when I corrected and the wind stopped gusting. So then I missed to the left. So that, that was fun. Um, I've got another magazine loaded here. It seemed to run fine, even though that one was a little bit sluggish. Uh, this one looks kind of corroded, so we're gonna see if this one runs. And uh, something you guys can see. Uh, that was my... All kinds of user error. <laughs> Not so good on the shooting, but uh, regardless, those are much smaller targets anyway, and that's about 55 yards. So it seems to have sounded really good on the pistol. Let's step it up to a rifle. This is a Henry lever action 22 Magnum. And I had some person in the comment section the other day tell me that cans are only useful with subsonic ammunition. And even though we were using high velocity 22 stuff, it was out of a pistol. It was probably doing under the sound barrier. I didn't chronograph it, but usually they're right around the sound barrier out of that pistol. This will definitely not be. And I'm going to tell you that this is definitely going to be hearing safe. So anyway, I love this gun. It's the only 22 Magnum I've ever owned. <laughs> I do love 22 Magnum. Let's see.
Oh, that was me. The only problem with this gun is that the magazine is too short. Don't let that sun fool you. There's a big bunch of black clouds right behind it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew, that wind is cold. Cold, cold. We have frost advisory tonight. And uh, let's go for the 100 yard. 100 yard. Is that in frame? Yeah, it is. And a smaller target. Yeah. I should probably paint my targets. And that's all she wrote. So thank you guys for joining me on today's celebration of another Form 4 completing and going into the hands of the general populace. So if you guys are interested in more information on suppressors and general firearm stuff, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And I've got something to show you guys that's coming in the next yeah, week or so to just kind of maybe tickle you a little bit to come back. What? on earth is this sound off in the comment section down below and special thanks to our patreon and subscribe star subscribers that help do things like pay the ammo bill particularly for this guy you should see some of their names on screen right now